What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Dart Face ROM on this device. And of course this is the alpha build on Android 11 of Dart Face and there are two separate versions of this Dart Face ROM. As you can see both include G apps but one is with MIUI vendor and one is with the OSS vendor. But here I have flashed the MIUI vendor based ROM and I would say I had high hopes from this ROM. But I am kinda disappointed but this ROM is not that bad. It has all the things that you may wish for and if you want to install this ROM, click on the card right over there. But let me first show you the settings panel like the Android version. Here as you can see we have the Darfist logo up top as usual and we have this Android version as Android 11 of course if you are noticing. And the security patch is latest of December 5th 2020. And we have the Dart Faced version as 11 official alpha for Raphael and this is the 17th December 2020 build. And you can see the stock kernel as perf G kernel and there is the SLinux status as enforcing. If you go in the system panel we do not find any system updated yet and we have the developer options and I have enabled that of course. And here in the pop up camera sounds let me actually show you there are a lot of sounds for popping out the front camera. And as you can see there are the Star Wars one which are the newer and there is the Super Muddy one too. So if you want those you can use with this sound with the front camera and you can disable the front camera LED and calibrate it if you want to. And we have the Google keyboard over here as the default keyboard. Now first let me straight up tell you why I said that I am kind of disappointed about this ROM because there is no double tap to sleep at all over here that is one thing that I do not like. No double tap to sleep even on home screen or the status bar. So if you want to actually see double tap to sleep let me show you. You can do it like the double tap works for waking the screen as you can see on the lock screen and then you can like double tap on the lock screen too to lock the device like when it's locked and you are on the lock screen already what's the need of double tap to sleep on the lock screen. If you don't have double tap to sleep on the status bar that is how just I feel maybe you may feel differently. But here you have to press the power button always to lock the device as of right now because on this MIUI vendor version at least there is no option to double tap to sleep on the status bar or even the home screen. Second thing which is not present is the status bar brightness sliding gesture like while doing this you can adjust the brightness in some other ROMs but right now here you cannot do that. So yeah that is one more disappointing thing that you cannot adjust the brightness by swiping on the status bar or at sliding a finger on the status bar does not adjust the brightness. Now the next thing is the safety net status and as you can see safety net just simply fails and here it shows failed basic integrity and CTS both fails. So that means you cannot use banking apps right out of the box on this ROM you have to flash magisk and use magisk hide if you want to use banking apps on this ROM. I have tried setting up my google pay it doesn't work. Now here let me show you one more thing that this is how the volume panel looks like. And you can like increase or decrease the volume just like this and you can expand the panel over here with this arrow as you can see. But let me actually show you if your phone is in landscape mode. So right now as you can see my phone is in landscape mode and here if I press the volume up which is this one. This volume up right now actually works as minus volume minus. So as you can see it does not increase the volume. But if I press this volume minus normally that is now the volume plus. So yeah this volume rocker just swaps when you are in landscape mode like the minus has become the plus the plus has become the minus. But you can actually disable this swap volume buttons from here in the sound settings and with this if you disable it it won't be there anymore. So your volume down stays volume down and volume up stays volume up if you disable this option. So I have talked about too much cons now it's time for the good stuff and the first good stuff that I can tell you about this ROM trigger alert hey Google. As you can see the Google assistant works with the voice stuff so you can actually use that by saying hey Google or okay Google. So yeah this error sometimes pops up do not mind that but yeah this hey Google as you can see again it's working fine. The stock launcher present over here on this ROM is the pixel launcher and it, if you are noticing the wallpaper this is how it looks like the stock wallpaper and to the left of this home screen we have the Google's discover page but sometimes again 
this device health service status force closes so do not worry about that but here as you can see we have the google's discover page swiping down gets you to the notification panel so that's great and we have the like app drawer when you swipe up so that's cool too here we have the widgets working super fine no issues with that but there is no double tap to sleep anywhere on the home screen of course right now let me show you the quick settings panel this is how it looks like and i have added a couple of toggles that you can add from here as you can see there are more like toggles over here and there are the app kind of toggles let me show you on the quick toggles this is how it looks like and i have added this like screen recorder this is the android 11 screen recorder as you can see you can record the device audio and the microphone audio same time like at the same time with this kind of recorder but let me tell you this default screen recorder sometimes does lag a little bit which is normal and here we have also the oxygen noise kind of screen recorder which actually works super fine i have tested it so yeah the oxygen noise screen recorder works flawlessly no issues whatsoever you can change the bitrate number of frames etc audio source everything else you can change from here so these work great and you can also disable the heads up notifications from here if you want that let me show you the stock camera right now the stock camera here is the google camera go not the anx camera and with this everything should be working fine and it has the like face enhanced stuff and the night mode etc but this is a basic google camera go it should work for normal videos or photos but you cannot switch lenses with this camera so that is why i have installed the google camera yearnix version and with this the switching between lenses are actually working fine as you can see you can of course install this you can get it from the card right there this is a pretty great google camera and with night sight and stuff it works flawlessly now let me jump into the settings this is how it looks like and first let me show you the status bar this is how it looks like and we have the wi-fi icon vaulty icon and the view wi-fi icon as well and there is a battery percentage and stuff on the status bar so let me first go into the network settings and from here in the mobile networks we have the wi-fi calling as you can see it's enabled right now this is how the stock in call ui looks like and as you can see again wi-fi calling is working fine and vaulty calling is working fine too here we have the speaker mode then hold and stuff but no call recording option on the default or stock dialer now let me straight jump into the customization here in the dark quest we should expect some customizations but again the things which i mentioned are not present in the navigation bar we have the navigation gestures and this is pretty cool in the gesture navigation if you go into the settings here it shows amount of screen height that will be used for going back kind of gesture and if you actually customize this as you can see it shows this kind of blue stuff on the corner to like let you know how much area will be used for going back gesture so this is the full then this is half then this is like a quarter then this is very low and here as you can see you can put it to full and it will work like from even here so yeah the back gestures you can customize from wherever you want then we have the gesture bar length which i have increased to long so that is why my pill bar looks this long over here and you can also customize the left edge right edge sensitivity i guess and then we have the haptic feedback too you can enable it if you want to and there is a two button or three button navigation the old kind of stuff in the navigation tuner we have the layout then extra left button is there extra right button is there if you're using two or three button navigation you can enable those let me go back in the gestures we have the long press to toggle torch as you can see i have set it to long press power to toggle torch this actually works fine with the power button long pressing when the device is locked and here we have the quickly open camera this is like double tap the or double press the power button to open the camera quickly that works fine and in the power menu let me show you there is the sensitive content and device controls and let me go back we have the prevent ringing skip music tracks switch screen off this is the lock screen switch screen off not like the status bar double tap to sleep in the swipe deck screenshot we have the option for it and as you can see if i swipe three fingers takes the screenshot but to actually delete the screenshot you don't get the delete option over here you just get the edit and share okay so let me take one more and here again you, you will see like once you open it you can edit and like do any kind of doodle but to actually delete it you have to click on the top right and here from here you can just delete the screenshot let me go back from here and let's now go to interface right now in the quick settings panel we have the quick pull down and you can choose like quick pull down from right or left side or you can have it disabled then we have the show titles and column and row number customizations are there then show quick setting color text and stuff is there let me go back to the themer and here we have all the themes as you can see 
and there are the clocks you can set some lock screen clock presets are there as you are noticing lot of them are actually there and you can choose from these many options then in the wallpapers as you can see this is the on device wallpaper the default one and there are a couple of live wallpapers too you can use those if you want to and from heads up you can enable the less boring heads up too if you want that next it's status bar and in the battery options we have the battery icon style you can choose it to icon portrait circle or dotted circle then we have the field circle text hidden options and in the battery percentage you can choose the like battery percentage position next to the icon or inside the icon you can choose from here or you can hide it totally and then there is a quick setting battery percentage and lastly there is the battery bar over here you can enable it if you want that let me go back in the clock and date we have the clock position changing option am pm style date you can change the date style to normal or small or hidden then auto hide option is there clock seconds option is there date position you can change to left right of time everything else and the date style of course you can change to uppercase or lowercase and also the date format you can change it from here then in the network traffic indicator we have the normal network traffic indicator which appears like over here somewhere but i am using this like internet speed meter which is a separate app that works fine too let me go back in the status bar we have the show 4g instead of lte and there is the vault icon and also there is the view wi-fi icon let me show you as you can see you can choose from these many vaulty icons lot of them are there and also you can choose from the vo wi-fi icons as you can see this is just the enabling stuff but here as you can see this is the default vaulty icon and it looks like this now because of my tempered glass it looks too much to the like top side but this is not actually how it is this is actually because of my tempered glasses black borders in the system icons we have the headset bluetooth etc options and the icons i mean to the lock screen here in the general options we have the lock screen charging info so that's great and we also have the google smart space this is actually for weather and stuff i guess then we have the music visualizer you can enable it if you want to then lock screen media art and the clock font style you can change on the lock screen this is for and there is the date font style too on the lock screen let me go back to the system or misc settings in the misc settings this is pretty much empty there is nothing to be found maybe this is a bug but yeah, this does not show anything, this miscellaneous settings. In the general notifications, we have the in-call vibration stuff, the vibrate unconnect, call waiting and disconnect as well. Then we have the edge lighting kind of stuff and then we have the default or custom color changing option for the edge lighting, I guess. That's it for the customization, that's all you have. Now in the battery settings, we have the battery temperature and stuff and you can actually change the scale of this temperature to Celsius or Fahrenheit with just by tapping on this so yeah right now it is at 31 degrees so that's pretty cool and here we have the screen on time and the battery saver mode thermal profiles etc options are there and i would say in terms of the battery life you will not be disappointed the battery life is great you can have like seven to eight hours of screen on time easily on this rom without any issues and you can just see the full usage by just tapping over here i would say you can definitely get a full days of usage like eight hours of screen on time easily from this rom and 18 watt fast charging also works fine here in the display settings we have the brightness level night light adaptive or auto brightness then styles and wallpapers is there again and we have the color set to boost it in the lock screen let me show you there is the always show time and info always on when charging you can have that too and ambient music ticker wake gesture everything else is there but there is no option to always unlock with the fingerprint scanner or something like that and then we have the double tap to wake on the lock screen i guess and then we have the enable blurs this is like the background blur which happens whenever you pull down the quick settings panel or you are in the power menu okay i forgot to show you the power menu so this is how it looks like as you can see we have the smart home controls right here and also we have the advanced reboot so if you tap advanced you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot from here or just normally reboot let me go back and the blurs option again is there and we have the dpi changing option the font size changing option then anti flicker or disabling mode is also there if you scroll down we have the dark theme and in the clock style we have a lot of clocks again and in the android we have the pitch black settings and there are a lot of themes over here in all of the settings like this android then in the settings option there is also again pitch black you can have particularly like separate options for each kind of thing like system ui settings android everything else and in the system ui again we have the pitch black kind of stuff but if you set it on android i think it applies on everything else maybe and in the accent colors we have plethora of accent colors as you were noticing over here pretty much a lot of options and also in the bottom if you notice there is like it says for some reason here is a gray 
that's really really cool in my opinion from the developer side and here we have the headline and body fonts option plethora of body fonts options are there as you are noticing then we have the icon shapes let me go back we have the icon packs too so that's cool and here in the sound settings we have the link reading and notification option and show volume panel on the left side and then we have the ringtone vibration pattern changing option. Now we have the dial pad tone, screen locking sound, charging sound and vibration, then screenshot shutter sound, everything else disabling option over here. And also we have the Mi Audio Dirac. And from here, if you set it to Youth Edition, you can have really great sound quality via headphone jack or Bluetooth as well. And here you have the sound preset and you can use any kind of preset from here. Also, there is the Hi-Fi Audio Dirac. Lastly, let me show you the security settings and from here we have the pixel imprint. So first I'll show you the fingerprint scanner speed. Let me show you from the always on display, unlocks fine. Let me show you again from the always on display with the left hand thumb, it unlocks fine again. Now from the lock screen, unlocks fine again and there is no animation for the fingerprint scanner. If you're noticing the fingerprint icon is there but you cannot change the icon style or the color of it or you cannot simply change any change or add any animation while unlocking with the fingerprint scanner this is just simple this is just shows the fingerprint scanner you tap on it and it unlocks pretty reliable fingerprint scanner but yes you do not get those animations here now let me set up face unlock so in the face unlock settings as you can see there is also this swipe to unlock option so you have to swipe up to unlock the device let me actually enable this first so right now if i double tap if I swipe up, as you can see, this is great that I have to swipe up on the lock screen, then it pops out the front camera. I am on the lock screen right now, so I'm swiping up. Right now it pops out the front camera, checks for face and it unlocks when it detects. And I can also disable this swipe to unlock option. So right now, if I go into the lock screen, as you can see, as soon as I double tap over here from the always on display, it like pops out the front camera and detects the face and unlocks right away. I do not have to swipe up with this feature. This is perfect like face unlock in my opinion. And there is also this pin scrambling feature which scrambles the pin over here. Like if I have it enabled, let me show you. So right now as you can see this whole kind of pin thing is scrambled and the numbers are randomly there. So yeah, this is really cool that we have this pin scrambling feature. And this is how the recent panel look like and on the left side we have the clear all button as you can see. Then if you look at the bottom there is a screenshot and the select option is there too which I like. So yeah this is great that we have this select option and the screenshot on the bottom of this recent panel. And if you are worried about the performance here the N22 and Geekbench code for this ROM. The DRM info over here shows as level 1. So you can stream Netflix or Amazon Prime in 1080p but the problem is the safety net simply does not pass so banking apps will be a disappointment if you do not flash magic on this ROM. So that's pretty much it guys about the latest dirt face ROM on the Redmi K20 Pro. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. This was the MIUI vendor based dirt face ROM not the OSS vendor one. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends if you want them to know about this ROM and subscribe to the channel if you have not yet. This is Tito from Kerry and Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye now. Mm -hmm.